car dealership is now a state-of-the-art restaurant after years of fundraising, delays, and construction problems. Superior Motors in Braddock is now open for business and getting rave reviews. Executive chef and owner Kevin Sousa says he's glad to welcome everyone who helped make his dream come true. Thank you to everyone who has stuck by our side and thank you to Kickstarter. Thank you to everyone who believed that the project was possible. Some 2,000 followers of Chef Kevin Sousa donated to Kickstarter to see Superior Motors come to life and become something more than just a place to dine. Sousa and company believe the restaurant can help revitalize the entire area. The idea is to make Braddock a destination for dinner and a show. We'll feed off each other, uh, off each other's audience, literally. Bare Bones Productions is adding a theater in the back of the restaurant for upcoming plays and other productions. You can come get something to eat, get a good drink, come up the come up the hallway and you're in the theater you get a great show but superior motors is more than drawing people in susa is also committed to involving the entire community organically grown produce on the menu comes from nearby braddock farms he's also hiring and training local staff and hosting a cooking school for young people everybody in town is going to know somebody who had something to do with this project and I think that creates a sense of pride and accomplishment. I'm proud to play a part in it. Braddock Mayor John Fetterman owns the Superior Motors building and lives upstairs. He likes what people will see when they come to visit. It's going to allow people to see Braddock as the community that it is, one that is in transition and is deserving of investment and, and people giving us a chance. Anthony Bourdain aided at Superior Motors for his recent CNN Parts Unknown feature on Pittsburgh to show that transition. And to emphasize the contrast between roaring steel mills across the street at the Edgar Thompson Works and high-end dining, he shared a meal with Mayor Fetterman and Sousa and asked the question. Who will live in the Pittsburgh of the future? And will there be room for the people who stayed true, stuck with it their whole lives? And so far, uh, the Superior Motors project is working. The restaurant's been open for three months now to critical acclaim. Uh, Anthony Bourdain, as you just heard, gave his meal at Superior Motors a thumbs up, and diners flock there seven days a week. And we are happy to have Chef Kevin Sousa and Bare Bones Artistic Director Patrick Jordan with us this morning to talk more about their collaboration with food and theater. And first, I'm curious to know, how did you two meet and, and decide on this project? Well, Kevin and I have been friends for... 15, 16 Close years. Close to 15 yeah, or 16 so. years. And I honestly don't remember how we met. <laughs> going it back a long been, time. Yeah, going back a long time. But then um, Braddock Mayor John Fetterman's a friend of mine, and he and I were talking, it's got to be like five years ago now. Yep. And he said, um, do you know anybody that's uh, that could be a chef because we'd like to try to get a restaurant to open in Braddock? There hasn't been one in like 30 years. Mm -hmm. And he said, do you know Kevin Sousa? And I said, yeah, he's a really good friend of mine. He said, do you think you could bring him to Braddock? So I went right to Kevin's old restaurant, Salt of the Earth, and told him about it. Kevin said yes, and Kevin came to meet us in Braddock. And the thing is, it was kind of like, um, was it like November? Yeah, it was chilly. It was like so, a, one of those perfect Pittsburgh days. Yeah. You know, like gray. No, it was actually the sun was shining. There were birds chirping. It was, it was, like, it was it ridiculous. It was a ridiculously yeah, it was, unseasonably warm, oh, oh, nice, see. beautiful day. In the day. middle of November. In the okay. middle of November, there were kids on swing sets, and we're walking around like the mailman walks by and says, "Hi, Mr. Yeah. Mayor," and like kids are like, "Hi," and everybody's <laughs> kind of running up, and it was like this perfect. It was kind of like if you ever saw the movie Funny Farm when they pay off the whole town to, yeah. like you know, cue the deer. So that kind of happened. Kinda, so yeah. John and I looked at Kevin. We were yeah. like, you know, it's not like this every day. <laughs> And it totally wasn't a sales pitch. Like, I mean, it was just the they would just show was, they would okay. just show me Braddock, and um, literally by the end of the day, I was I was asking about real estate to like move there, and um, you know, fast forward a couple years, or not even a couple years, like six months. John and I and Patrick were brainstorming about Kickstarter and how, or not even Kickstarter yet, just how we were going to do something, and then little by little, it, you know, we chipped away at the idea, and we came up with this pretty um, ambitious project and yeah it, it worked out I, you guys had a lot of people behind you backing this with the Kickstarter campaign mm -hmm. and getting this off the ground over so, 2,000 yeah so that has to feel good to know going into something like this that people are behind you and supportive as important as the money was for you know when you do a Kickstarter you know found a crowdsourced crowdfunding um, project yeah. you know the attention and just kind of a market study. It's like, do people want this? Are people going to get behind this? Right. And, you know, when 2,000 people, more than 2,000 people showed support, and most of them were from the region, 
it was like and that it, gives it told you us the, yeah. that, that you should be doing yeah, this. Yeah, the a want and a need for this, and then for the hard times, that kind of pushes you through it. Yeah. So what was it like to be uh, on Anthony Bourdain's show? It was cool. I mean, it was he was super nice, and the, his crew was great, and I mean they. I, I just thought it was a really great experience. It, I mean, you don't see everything that goes on before. Well, what was funny was the restaurant wasn't open yet, and the kitchen wasn't even installed. Mm. So Kevin made the whole meal, and how many courses? There were several courses. I think there were four courses. There were four courses, and he ran everything off of a toaster oven, and um, like, like a hot plate, a hot and a hot plate in the back. Yeah. I have pictures of it somewhere, and I was running like extension cords from my theater because the Trying hot plate, the hot plate plate kept blowing the breakers. Yeah, it was crazy. So there was like 16 different like 150 foot extension cords running through the building. But they did a great job and then they were like the beat they had B-roll of me cooking in my house. So it was like I'm cooking and then the plates are landing in front of Anthony Bourdain and you don't see like how all the pieces are like dry like no drywall on the walls in the back or you know how it was just yeah. Just mayhem. Well, and so these are two of the dishes you brought for us today are, are some of the items that are featured on your menu. Yeah, these are these are kind of have become signature-ish items. Um, this is our uh, our pasture uh, our heritage pork entree um, and our pavlova, which is a uh, it's a New Zealand um, soft meringue. Today it's we have papa um, pastry cream underneath. Papa is very well known now in right. uh, Western Pennsylvania, West Virginia. Kind of known as the you know Appalachian kind of tropical. We featured the Pop Pop Festival yeah. earlier this year yeah, here so. on Pittsburgh Today Live. So, so yeah, we we out. took everyone that we could get from all of the foragers and all the local folks, and we um, yeah we preserved them, and so now we have them for a couple months. Well, let's talk about that because you really are making sure that you're working with the community, working with local farms to bring that to to your people that are viewing, uh, come to the restaurant. Yeah, it just so happens that uh, Monday um, we have our. our full-time farmer starting to develop a new plot of land and uh, the greenhouse and our rooftop garden for next season. Wow. So he starts with us full-time on Monday and, and you know over the last three years I've developed really strong relationships with Grow Pittsburgh and Braddock Farms and um, you know we I myself do some foraging we have an on-staff forager who works in the kitchen with us does preservation and you know different kinds of curing and things like that. Yeah. But you both have, um, you know, so much fame here in the city. You are James Beard nominee, and Patrick. The other part of this is that uh, you are a, a wonderful performer. You are voted best performer by City Pittsburgh. Uh, right? Yeah, uh, City Paper. City yeah, Paper. Sorry. Like, yes. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, tell me about your portion of this project and what you want to do. Well, what happened was, <clears throat> we uh, when they when Superior Motors settled on the spot where they're going to be, which is Superior Motors. There was a space in the back that wasn't going to be utilized. That it was just more than they needed. It was just going to be storage. And I was walking around with uh, John and Kevin, and I looked up, and the ceiling was high at one point. I said, "Well, the ceiling's high. You could probably put a theater back here." And John and Kevin looked at me. I went, "Oh my God! I have to we put can. a theater back here yeah. right now." So we started doing that and um, went after it. And we did two shows in 2015, kind of like pop-up style with like there was no electricity there was no HVAC there was no plumbing so we then um, and at, we had Kevin actually cooked beforehand upstairs you can see the pictures right there that was a set from small engine repair and that, that we did. oversell like people were, oh yeah really actually wanted to come to well that. the funny thing was we weren't sure we thought we were, if we got 30 or 40 people to come out to Brad fine but we were selling like hundreds of tickets a night People were crammed in. We had to, we had to add performances, and we added a week of shows for both runs, and we were oversold. So it was amazing. And then Kevin cooked on Fridays and Saturdays, and at the mayor's house upstairs to just kind of give people a taste of what was to come. Mm -hmm. Literally, beforehand, small plates, and people sold out those nights wow. too. So there was a kind of a desire for people to come down there. So what we're going to do is uh, our space will be ready to go for our performances in January. Hopefully we're ready to have some other things, events by December. Um, we're gonna, when Bare Bones Productions is performing, we'll do our shows there obviously, but mm -hmm. when we're not, we're gonna use it as a kind of a community performance space. It'll, so there'll be bands, live music, um, uh, spoken word poetry, uh, comedy, um, improv, that kind of stuff. And other theater companies can use it as well. A lot of variety there. So now that you guys are implanted in Braddock, what is your hope for that neighborhood? Because obviously we're seeing this transformation starting to happen slowly, but happening. I, I hope that it continues the way that it has. It's been a very organic um, kind of process for me. You know, I, we moved out there 
Patrick and I just this thing has developed over four years you know a lot of people are like oh it took you so long and it took the time that it took you know right, I mean it took right. us like we would have it wouldn't be as cool as it is if it didn't take if as long as it did yeah. Yeah. yeah and so and I think that's just how it goes you know John Fetterman has proven that you know just keeping your head down and keeping your eye on the prize you know yeah. it takes time but you can get there so we're just you know I think more more folks are gonna come out with interesting ideas and, and I think we're just a couple of pieces of the puzzle and right. as and more and more things are gonna be happening at Braddock Braddock had a tough go of it for a pretty long time and I mean it's not like we're here it's just more and more businesses are opening there's different restaurants that are gonna be opening in town the brew gentleman uh, has their, there, their thing and they're stuff. expanding right. and they're so killing it a right, lot of are. a lot of exciting things are happening in yeah. Braddock right now so. well you guys are certainly invested in that process so we appreciate yeah. you coming here and talking to us a little bit about it and come to Braddock to enjoy chef Kevin Sousa's food for yourself at Superior Motors and soon enjoy a play at Bare Bones Black Box Theater Space you'll find them both in the same building at 1211 Braddock Avenue look for more details and you can make reservations online. We'll have that link posted for you at kdka.com slash PTL.